finally getting around to do a video for Atlanta BrickCon 2023. Um, it took about as long to do the video as it did to get into the parking garage because the parking garage, garage was crazy. Um, they were having problems with the machines. It was packed. They were doing construction around the uh, facility. And it was, it, was, it was crazy getting in. It probably took us 20 minutes if we're lucky to park. I was saying, thinking more like 30. So at least... Line, line. Yeah. Another line. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you had to get in line to get, turn around so you could try to go to another the next level to try to get in. And yeah, they just... The parking was horrendous. Um, and after waiting in that line, you go into the building and there was another line to get in. And not a short line. There was oh, no. probably... 100 plus people yeah it was like it was coming down and then down and just out of town just it was crazy crazy parking uh eventually we got in and then we'll uh go on with some pictures because there was no way i was gonna try and take a lot of video in there it was it was crazy as you can see it was packed it was a madhouse I'm now well aware what it feels like to be a sardine. <laughs> <laughs> so the previous picture was looking straight ahead. This is coming in looking to your left, and that's where all the vendors were, and we did not go that way. Went down in there and then just started moving around. I think the munchkin and I both were started feeling a little bit anxious because the number of people and how crowded it was. And so we were just trying to move around, get someplace, look around. Uh, you can see here's a bunch of Lego sets and prices, and you know prices are all over the place. Friend felt more anxious about having to go back to the parking deck. This was an improvement. This is actually true. We actually had the conversations <laughs> like, should we just leave, see if we can get our money back and go, or you know, she's like, I don't want to deal with the parking deck again. I was like, I don't blame you. <laughs> it was yeah, yeah, yeah. That was behind that little vendor area. And even like like we didn't stick around to take pic pictures often. It was like, oh cool, click, move, click, move, click. We can see something. Wow, hurry. Yeah, it was it was just crazy. And that's turned back to that vendor, and that vendor had um, down on the opposite side where all the little purple boxes so far. They had a couple tubs set up where you could fill up a a cup and get some some Lego used Lego. So we stopped there at the tubs and filled up a couple cups. That helped with my, my anxiety. I mean, it was kind of strange. But I was just sitting there finding bricks and snapping them together. And like, okay, this is helping. And got a couple of those and then moved on. But it really, at least it helped me feeling so anxious with everything that was going on. Just how many people were there. After that, I was actually fine. I didn't mind it anymore. But I don't know, getting old. Getting compacted. <laughs> Getting compacted, yeah. <laughs> this was a pretty neat set. It was a lot of the, the space themes set across this table. Uh, there's the original monorail. It goes for way too much these days. There's the Mtron set. I had most of that. Actually, I still have most of that set. Um, I don't have the big the big Magnetron mag magnetizer or mega something. The Mtron magnetizer. In that big box in the middle of the screen. Um, but I found out there was another set that you could make by getting multiples of some of the smaller sets. And you could, there was actually sets of instructions to make the set, the bigger set down below the uh, two space boxes, the Mtron and the other set next to that monorail. And so maybe one day I'll have a bunch of money. I can buy some, some of those so I can make make the hidden set and get the, the magnetizer. There's some of the ice planet, which I thought was always kind of striking just because of the orange and white and blue. Kind of kind of stood out. And there's a little bit over here. You can see the alien or the UFO series that they came out with. There's a crapper. Somebody made a crapper out of Lego. I think this was the one that they had. It was basically Rube Goldberg and there's probably a dozen tables and they just had balls going around the entire thing. It was kind of neat. Didn't 
get to look at it nearly as close as I would have liked to, but that's the way it happens. There's another picture of that table. You see there are some towers and stuff because I think they had an entryway and so they had it so the balls would go up and over and then back down these these towers so the people running it could move in and out because the balls didn't always stay on the tracks. So you can see I think that guy there is collecting some of the balls and taking them back to the starting point. And there's a custom Mustafar set. And another shot and better angle you can see the other mountain so there's a lot of uh black and orange put into that that set and then we got some penguins it's my penguins well not mine really but my dream this was like two 48 by 48 base plates lots of penguins um That was, I think, a custom, basically a custom set of the Aqua Core that was never released. Yeah, official unreleased space set from the early 90s. Now, this one was pretty cool. There was a bunch of Gundam Lego figures set up, and some of them actually were, could move. There's the Iosauron. There's a pink castle. And boy, with that lighting, was it pink. It was glowing. If you didn't notice, it was pink. And there's a haunted mansion. Mickey in the in the car. Or cart, I guess it would be. Back to the pink castle. I mean, and it was not a small castle. You see the minifigures on it. Hulk down by the drawbridge is dwarfed by it. And there's Unikitty. <laughs> Just another brick in the wall. It's a mini it's castle. A, it's a mini pink castle. With a bunch of minifigures. And a mini train. All in pink. Nice tree. Yep. Another just nice big castle creation with some pink so some really neat little bills there's a uh, just I think it's all the different colors that the spacemen were available at the time I think they said they were gonna work on it to include the little baby spaceman that was recently released in the collectible minifigure pack anyone up for some baseball play ball Arg. yo ho ho an old church or monastery or something you got a graveyard on the side under the pink leaf trees there's a bunch of neat neat sets you got the yellow original castle and somebody decided that they wanted to put it on wheels <laughs> which i'm not sure i even remember seeing that <laughs> i don't remember seeing that at all i was like oh, there's a castle on wheels there's some various sets some star wars builds i mean there's a battle on naboo lots of droids and clone troopers Make your own diorama. That was my favorite water. Yeah, just take a bunch of little one by one studs and sprinkle them around the, the, the boat. And that looks like the scene from uh, Mandalorian where he gets sucked into the pit, or I guess in the belly of the boat. Not the beast, the boat. Remember where that little amphitheater thing was? Maybe it was an award ceremony for Star Wars. A 
I don't know what it takes to uh, actually submit or have your creation being on display, but there are some really neat builds. I really wish we would have, have had more time to actually look and check some of the stuff out, but it was pretty much just <laughs> you're moving along with the crowd, kind of like at a theme park. Uh, there's the Hero Factory sets. A small little mock of Han and Leia in the base on Hoth. Some more Hoth scene. That that was pretty cool. Look at all of the different spaceships and stuff recreated in Lego. Here was the the Rock Raiders. There's a different setup and I think it was a you know, all the sets plus some extras. I'm going along with the theme with the original space set, the green and, not the green, the gray and blue, uh, which they recently released, the Galaxy Explorer. I guess it's not really recently. They released it last year. It's been out for a while. Probably be discontinued the end of this year or sometime next year. International Space Station, different swords, which is funny because a lot of the conventions you go to and you see you know, all the foam swords and whatnot, well here you have them in Lego. I don't um, remember seeing those either. I don't know if you would cosplay with those, but you know, there they are if you want them. You see the Master Sword, a bunch of lightsabers. So you got the Pirates of Barracuda Bay and the Black Sea Barracuda behind it, and then you've got... Um, individual locomotives in front of it and I wanted, if I recall correctly there I think eight uh, thousand and eight hundred dollars price the yellow sticker was eight hundred and the orange one was a thousand like oh those are awesome I'd love to have never mind I'll hold on to my money Prin was being mean so she got paddled okay she wasn't really, but she got she got paddled. I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> this was just finally made it to the vendor area, and this was something that somebody did. They'd taken a bunch of these tiles and screen printed stuff over them. So different Marvel stuff, but all brick themed. There's an overview. They had it. There was a. There was a lot. Some little custom bits and pieces. Pokemon builds. And there was Alf, telling Mario, "Goodbye. I'm out of here. It is too crazy." And it was. It was. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I was. I was. Like I got hit with anxiety going in just because of the number of people and the noise and then putting the bricks together it was calming it was calming so we didn't pick up a lot because it was crazy like it was tough to even it was tough to move down the vendor line it was tough to move down the just around to look at stuff but next year it's supposed to be in an area that's twice as big so hopefully they learned a lot from this one um, I think they were still still selling tickets even though the lines were so backed up. So that just seemed, seemed crazy. Uh, I think we'll give it one more shot, and if the next year, next year's isn't a big improvement, then uh, we'll probably just skip it and go to the Lego store. Lego store's fun. Lego Sounds store's good fun. to me. Yeah. But, so we did actually pick up two things worth of miscellaneous Lego my my comp my anti-anxiety lego but print and the munchkin both helped grab stuff and stacked it in there there's a little something that i started making with the pieces but we got lots of these plates of various sizes i really liked the gray wheels so i got four of those plus everything that we could fit in the two um two cups and it was twenty dollars and it helped calm me down so and likes pink bricks and we got some very colorful bricks picked up a few just minifigures i liked there was various 
um, there's a bowl of them, mix and match the figures how you wanted, and then I think it was like three for, I don't remember what it was, I think I got four for ten dollars. So that was cool. It's Munchkin. You had to, I can't reach. We'll take take a picture and put it up there. But we got one of the Munchkin, of Prin, and a Munchkin bestie. And then Munchkin's friend. Best friend. Bestie. So. <laughs> Bleep. What the heck? Bam. We'll get a picture up on these because we picked up some of those specialized tiles with the screen printing on them. There's one of them in there that's a little Pepsi container. Um, and a Britco was there and they had a bunch of, of the cellophane bags. So we grabbed several of those. And they were $5 a piece and <laughs> that was like, you know, decent. So dude in the helicopter. Monkey dude and hovercraft. Metal mini metal beard. Harry Potter set. It's Harry Potter. A Necro Knight set. A Lego Friend set. Three in one doggy, spider, snake, cobra. Got a bat wing. Got a Mario set. Got a Hermione set. And a minion. So we picked up a few of those, obviously. Um, overheard him saying that was like the best seller that they had there. Cause it was, they had a bunch of shirts and stuff, but overall, I mean, once I got calmed down, it was, it was okay, but it was still, it was still like too many people in a small, actually, and it wasn't even a small space, but it was too many people in a big space. It was still crowded, not enough room. Um, so really hoping that next year is a big improvement on the spacing and where everyone is allocated and whatnot. I'm going to park down the street and walk in. <laughs> yeah. And I think hitting all the mess with the garage and then the line getting in and then getting in, it was just like, oof, nope. I like that, at least for me and the Munchkin, that was our input overload or something. And we were a little just, eh. But I guess in it a little bit, put the put the cups together, and like I said, it helped me calm down some. Uh, I mean, what are y'all's thoughts? I think it has good potential. I think that was a nightmare. <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> Munchkin. I agree. It was a nightmare. But. Frogs. <clears throat> that's right. That's right. We um, one of the vendors. I mean, they had stuff for, you could pick individual weapons, and the, one of them had... the paddle was. Was where the paddle was, yeah. The, um, there was a drawer with frogs, and so there was a bunch of different frogs, and so Munchkin ended up making a, getting, or making some frog chorus with stuff that we picked up from the Lego store on the pick-a-brick wall. And stuff we picked up there and from, we ended up going down to the Atlanta Brick Co. store and picked up some stuff. Not a, so, you know, we didn't get a ton of pickups, but it was, just, it was, it was fighting a crowd way too much to spend a bunch of time trying to look at stuff. And, you know, the vendor area wasn't bi that big either. So hopefully next year there's, there'll be more vendors and it'll be a little bit easier to get around. I wanted to enjoy the bills. Yeah, and, and I couldn't. We, you couldn't enjoy the builds because like it, you just felt like you were being pressed along, and so if you could stop and long enough to take a picture, I I, I deleted probably close to a dozen pictures because they were blurry because it was like stop, take a picture, all right, move, stop, take a picture, move, and sometimes it was <clears throat> yeah apparently I didn't stop long enough to 
take the picture. But there was also times when it was three or four wide, so you were in the middle, and you couldn't even see. <clears throat> yeah, there were times you were I was just being shoved. reaching up above my head, angling it up, getting up there, and hitting the button. Hope I, you know, was still enough to take a, a picture. Like I said, hopefully it's, it improves next year. Okay, we'll give it one more shot. Um, we'll probably go to the Lego store before again. We did that this time and picked up a few things. But it was, it was. I'll try it in 2024. Yeah, it was cool to see it, but it could have been a lot better. Well, thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a good night. Take care. Have fun. Be kind of one another. Stay safe. Keep watching. God bless. And we'll catch you next time. Bye bye now. Brick build it. Okay. Now it's recording. Okay, now you're fine. <laughs> Being haunted by, Been a haunted by a bunny. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Whoop. I fixed the mustache. All right. Boop, 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 boop. So, and actually, what is going on there? There's some blurry guys that we'll just cut out. The only limit is your imagination, and that's the last picture, not the first picture for that. <laughs> <laughs> some thematic, 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 thematical. I don't know. Like it's along the theme. But here's some.